Hey, everybody. I feel like everybody mostly knows us, but if you don't, I'm Morgan. And I'm Katie. And we are giving you your devotional for today. Um, we're going to be talking about James 2, 14 through 26. Um, so I'm going to start with reading the scripture for you guys. So um, it's about faith and deeds. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself is not accompanied by action, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds and I'll show you my faith by my deeds. You believe that there is God good. Even the demons believe that and shudder. You foolish person, do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless? Was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend. You see that a person is considered righteous by what they do and not by faith alone. In the same way, was not even Rahab, the prostitute, considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in different directions? As the body without the spirit is dead, so is faith without deeds is dead. I think this is a good like, reminder that we can have faith all we want, but if we don't do anything with that faith, then what's the point of having the faith? Um, and so I think even for me, this was a good reminder that I, of course I believe in God, but it's good and needs, we need to have deeds with that faith. So we need to go out and help people rather than just say, okay, like I'll be praying for you. Like, don't worry about it. God will take care of it. Like we need to do something as it's, especially in what the world's going through today, it's harder I think for us to remember that we need to do something because it's, well, what can we do? Like for those of us who aren't medical, like what can we do? Um, but I think even just the little things could be done. Like even something that somebody doesn't necessarily need, like making food for somebody or like giving somebody a jacket, like little things like that. I think it's good. Um, to just do, just because something's little doesn't mean it doesn't go a long way. So I think this passage is definitely a good reminder um, for what the world's going through today. Yeah. Um, so kind of an example I found was, so if I got a really bad cold and I ask you, like, I ask you, Katie, what should I do about my cold? And you say, go home, get some rest, um, drink lots of fluids, and here, take this medicine. And I take them, I like take all of these ideas with me, but then I go home and do nothing about it. Um, and I'm not going to get better after that because I didn't do anything that I needed to to treat my cold. So it's kind of the like a common theme there. Like you can't just speak about it and it be done. Like you have to actually have action and yeah. do it because it yeah. kind of everything goes together. So if you have faith and you have a reaction, it like all goes together. So um, you can't just like faith just isn't enough. You have to respond by action. That's a good example. Um, so like you kind of said, the scripture is kind of so relevant right now. There's just so many people in need. And um, like you said, we can't just say, oh, I'm praying for you or yeah. so sorry you don't like have what you need. Right. Like we have to actually reach out and respond in ways that we can um, for others. So, especially if some of us have more than someone else, like say I need, um, I don't know, say I need like medicine and with everything going on, I don't have a job right now. And you have that medicine that I might need. Then you could be like, Oh, here, I have some extra. Let me give it to you. So I think even just little things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, anyways, so we'll finish this out by prayer. If Katie, if you'll pray for us. I'll pray for us. 
bow our heads. Dear God, thank you so much for your scripture, especially now. God, I know there's a lot of hurt in the world right now and a lot of uncertainty. Please help us and remind us that you are not uncertain. You are the constant in these trying times. Thank you for reminding us that with faith also comes deeds. I know sometimes we feel like we can't do much, but like I said, every little bit counts. I pray this week that you will help us find a deed that we can do for somebody else. We love you so much, God. In your name, amen. Amen. All right, that's it for today. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching our video. Okay.